Hello and thanks for joining us. Here's business review of January 17th, 2022. The federal government inaugurated the expanded partnership committee on sustainable blue economy to boost Nigeria's economy through maritime means. The committee was inaugurated by Vice President Yemi Osibanjo on Monday at the State House in Abuja with members including state governors, ministers, representatives of military and security agencies. In a statement by his spokesperson Mr. Laulu Akande, he stated that the Blue Economy Agenda is set to further explore the economy opportunities available through oceans and maritime resources around the country. The Vice President's office stated that the Blue Economy aims at sustainable use of Nigeria's ocean and maritime resources towards improved economic growth for Nigeria and its citizens. Citizens. This includes the use of renewable energy, seeable extractive activities and maritime biotechnology and bioprospecting. Vice President Osip Major stated that the committee had representatives from the state and the geopolitical zones, agency representatives, Chief of Naval Staff, Comptroller General of Customs, NIMAS, and several other agencies. It added that ministers including the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Minister of Power, Minister of Petroleum, Minister of Environment are also taking part. The committee is charged with providing an assessment of current realities, opportunities and challenges from economic diversification and the growth of sustainable blue economy in Nigeria and identifying policies including institutionalization, capacity building mechanisms for blue economy development. The National Pension Commission Pencom has organized a retreat on the review of the Pension Reform Act 2014 PRA 2014 in Abuja. The retreat identifies salient issues to be reviewed in the PRA 2014 as a prelude to advancing legislative actions on the bill. It is expected that the National Assembly will subsequently organize a public hearing in order to provide an avenue for stakeholders to formally make input into the proposed amendment. The PRA 2014 was enacted following a review of the Initial Pension Reform Act of 2004, which introduced used legal and institutional frameworks of the Contributory Pension Scheme CPS, and established PENCOM to regulate and supervise all pension matters in Nigeria. Speaking during the opening ceremony of the retreat, the Director General of PENCOM Aisha Dabiru Umar informed the participant that the PRA 2014 codified one of the most important socio-economic reform initiatives of the federal government leading to a pension industry that has accumulated pension assets in excess of 13 trillion naira invested in various aspects of the nation's economy. She noted that the the review is a corollary to some implementation challenges encountered with certain sections of the Act not long after its enactment in July 2014. This is in addition to a persistent call from stakeholders from the amendment of some sections of the Act which resulted in several legislative initiatives through the sponsorship of bills for amendment of the PRA 2014 by the National Assembly. Subsequently, the Commission as the regulator of the pension industry decided to coordinate and harmonize the various efforts in order to achieve a more comprehensive and constructive exercise for the review of PRA 2014. And straight to stock news, GTCO PLC closed the trading session with a decline in share prices after the holding company shares witnessed sell pressures, dragging the price down by 0.20% from 25 naira 20 kobo per share to 25 naira 15 kobo per share, ranking the highest trade by value. The NGX closed on a negative note amid sell off and buying interest as the benchmark all share index ASI depreciated by 12 basis points. As a result, the NGX ASI closed at 44,399.66 points to reflect a decline of 0.12% from the previous trading day and a year-to-date YTD return of 3.94%. Meanwhile, the market capitalization declined by 29.65 billion naira. At the close of market on Monday, 17th of January 2022, the stock exchange market value currently stands at 23.92 trillion naira from 23.95 trillion naira in the previous trading day. The max capitalization closed negative as TIP led 16 gainers as against 22 laggers stopped by Veritas at the end of Monday's trading session. The stock market has advanced 1,683.22 basis points since the start of the year. Market sentiments trend towards the bears with the market differential being in favor of the decliners as 16 gainers were suppressed by 22 laggers. In other markets, the US dollar in the investors and exporters window traded on Monday at 415 naira. The pound sterling sold at 567 naira, 5 kobo, while the euros went for 473 naira 72 kobo. Inflation rate is 15.4%, while the monetary policy rate NPR remains 11.5%. Crude oil sold for $88.51 per barrel. And as business review, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notification, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Until I see you next time, I am Ayo Adidotun. Bye for now.